Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm here today to talk to you about a tag video from Catherine Alice. It is a Pandora tag, 10 questions, and then it has in parentheses constructive criticism. And I really liked her video. It was very um, well thought out. She had a lot of really um, great thoughts. So check out Catherine Alice and her Pandora tag. Um, it's been, she's only got 78 views on this um, and it was published March 29th. So go watch her video. Go give her some love. Um, comment on it. She tags quite a few of you out there. So um, those of you that um, haven't watched her video and noticed you've been tagged, go ahead and um, do this video because I think it's a really great one. With, um, a lot of really well thought out questions. So I'm going to get right into it. So we, this isn't 100 years long. Um, but the first question that Catherine asks is, your favorite and worst shopping experience at a Pandora store? Now, um, I'm going to start with my worst experience because I like to end on a positive. Um, but my worst experience was when I went to a mall in Florida and they had a Pandora store there. And the Pandora... Um, People, I was buying, I think, three charms. I bought the, um, the, this one here, this beautiful, like, Murano. I bought this heart one, and then I bought the rainbow dangle. And I, so I was buying three different charms, and I just got the distinct feeling that they wanted me to buy more. I felt very pressured to buy more. Three is a lot. Now, I know when you're buying full price, you guys, these are not cheap. It's not like I was spending $10. I was spending quite a significant amount of money, over $100. And I don't know about you guys, but for me, that's a lot of money. Like, I can't afford to just always go out and drop thousands of dollars. Um, and I don't think a lot of us can. And, and we just buy our Pandora you know, either through ooh, a lot in those giant halls that I see a lot, or you're buying like a little bit here and there, which is what I do. And um, so I felt a little bit judged for not buying more. I felt like um, I wanted to put it on a bracelet. And this bracelet has charms other than Pandora charms. So I have my unicorn charm on here. And I have my popsicle charm. And then I have... Um, Where's the other one? My teddy bear charm on here. They're on that Pandora. And they were kind of looking at them and kind of judging them on my bracelet. And then I wanted to put the charms onto the bracelet because I was creating this happiness bracelet. And I wanted to put the charms onto the bracelet. And I wanted to do it in the store so I didn't drop the charms everywhere. And they were kind of like watching over me. Like the manager came over and watched me put the charms on the charm bracelet. And like all of the charms, like I can't steal charms or anything. They're in the case. So I don't know why they felt the need to watch over me. I don't know if anybody knows why Pandora wanted to watch me put my charms on. Um, they, they, they were like kind of at first wanted to put them on for me, which is nice. But I just really wanted to do it myself because I'm really picky about the way that I design my bracelets. And I just felt kind of like it just didn't rub me the right way if it had been like, you know, she was trying to make conversation and it felt more like less like I was being watched. I think I would have been okay with it, but that really left me with a sour taste. Um, and I haven't been back to that particular one since because it made me pretty uh, frustrated with the situation. Um, and I've never been treated like that in any other Pandora store really like quite that kind of judged. Though my best experience, which was at the um, Pandora in the premium outlets, um, and I want to give you the address here, which is the Las Vegas, Nevada one. It's at the premium outlets, and it was, um, let's see here, it was Kaomi that I worked with. She was amazing. I bought a significant, much more expensive amount of charms. Um, I don't know if that makes a difference in why I was treated so much better, but I bought uh, almost a thousand dollars in charms because I knew I wanted to go to the outlet and I really wanted to. I had been waiting for this situation for quite some time, and um, I had kind of, you know, gotten to that place where I knew I wanted to get uh, certain types of charms and I wanted to complete my um, Christmas bracelet and I wanted to do a couple of other things. So I knew that I was going to to spend a significant amount in the Pandora outlet and I got a lot for that money plus a bunch of really great discounts. I have a whole video about it. If you want to watch that, just look back through my videos and you'll find the one that's the Pandora outlet experience um, 
a video that I have, but, and maybe I'll link it down below, but I know that, um, that video, I kind of go through all the details of how I save money and stuff like that. Um, and it's, it was just a really wonderful experience. She was super patient with me. I was in there for three hours buying charms, which is a very long time to be buying charms, but it was just such a great experience. And I felt so cared for and understood by my, um, SA who is just really, just really, I would, I would definitely go back there a hundred percent. I can't wait. I might go back there in May. We'll see. <laughs> Next question. What created your love for Pandora? So I have right here the um, Charmed Memories collection that I got from K Jewelers. And I keep them, they're sentimental more than um, usable um, because they've kind of, I've kind of, um, don't have them on a bracelet right now. Some of them I do have on, on bracelets. Two of them I do. I have my bow and my Hello Kitty on bracelets. And, uh, um, but these are ones that I got from Charmed Memories. And I, that's what created my love. I saw Pandora, or I mean, um, the, the Charm Memories is a K Jewelers Pandora style charm bracelet um, that kind of imitates the same kind of charms that Pandora does. And um, they were having like this big Hello Kitty um, charm bracelet thing where they were doing this collab with Hello Kitty. And um, I had seen them and, and said, I didn't know what I wanted for Christmas. I said, well, get me that because I love Hello Kitty. And so my parents bought me this whole bracelet and, um, I wore it forever. Um, before I, uh, cause I got it in 2012 before I started really getting into Pandora. Um, I started really kind of looking at videos on YouTube, much like the one you're watching today and, um, was introduced to, um, Pandora. And I just kind of fell in love with a lot more of the designs that Pandora had and, um, how much more they just looked better than in even the charm memories or any of the other charms. And they're still my go-to, but I do try out other brands, but I just really felt like Pandora is where I really connected with. And I really kind of fell in love with the Pandora community, even though back then it was different people doing Pandora videos. It was still like a really positive place and people were, were really supportive of each other and I really liked that about it so it's sort of the collab of that of where my love for Pandora started um, what is your current favorite from Pandora well obviously you guys are probably sick of seeing this because I did like a whole long thing on this but my two-tone bracelet is by far my favorite overall bracelet with everything on it right now um, another favorite that I have currently is my new Minnie Mouse bracelet I am I just got this for my birthday and I am just I'm in love with it it's so cute it's this just a, such a great stacking bracelet and I've just been wearing it plain um, which is really rare for me to do and probably won't last that way but for now I'm enjoying it and I don't really have any charms to put on it I mean I have some I could put on there but I just don't know if I love the idea of charms on it right now so I'm just enjoying it um what oh, so question number four is what is something you like but this could make it better and I actually think a lot of you will agree with me. So I'm going to show you what I mean. So here's the, the uh, I always want to call it a moose, but it is a reindeer. <laughs> Happy reindeer charm. And um, you see how when I let go of it, the charm flips over. Boop. All the time. So Pandora is this thing where it puts the hole for the charm on the bottom of the charm rather than the top of the charm the head of the charm more often than not. Now I'll show you an example of how Sophia didn't do that. So Sophia's charm, they put the head bigger and made the body smaller so that now the, 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 the bear hangs correctly. See how it hangs correctly? Pandora did that backwards. So now it flips over and then on top of it, they didn't finish off the crystals all the way around the neck. So the crystals only show this direction. So when it flips upside down, the crystals aren't there. I really would um, think that would make it better. Um, and if other charm companies can do it, you can too, Pandora. Um, they did the same thing with Bruno. See how he flips upside down? If they'd have put it through Bruno's head, he would have sat right on the bracelet. Now, granted, he would be lower than higher, but they could construct their charms differently to make that better. And I think that's one way they can definitely make their charms better. I love Bruno and I love the Happy Reindeer, but I would love them more if they stayed right on my bracelet. Okay, um, now let's move on to question number five. What types of charms do you wish Pandora would make? So this is tough because I oftentimes think of it in the moment, like, oh, I wonder if there's this charm. And then I'll look for it and I can't find it anywhere. Um, 
and I can't think of what those would be. So I'm sure there's other ones out there, but I can think of certain things off the top of my head. So I want to talk about food first. Um, so Pandora had recently come out with like the popcorn charm, which made me really happy because they didn't have one. Um, the to-go cup. I think along those lines, um, they have also had like the pasta and the pizza charm. I love that. I would love to see a macaroon charm. That would make me really happy. Um, that That's something I would definitely want to see. Um, any other kind of pastry than a cake or a cupcake. I know those are cute. I, I get it, Pandora, but you've done them. Let's do something new. I really like that. I know that got intense. Sorry about that. Um, and then also like any kind of collab with someone other than Disney. I love, don't get me wrong, keep going with Disney. I don't know if they have some sort of exclusivity contract with Disney or what, but Pusheen, Sailor Moon, Hello Kitty, anything from um, My Little Pony, uh, uh, Care Bears. I would love to see them bring some of those childhood memories for some of us into charms um, because people are getting a lot more cutesy with their charms and they and we can we can ha they can handle having a few of those like if they had a limited edition um care bear charm or a limited edition rainbow bright charm or a limited edition sailor moon charm or a limited edition my little pony or they just did any of those non-limited edition i would be over the moon absolutely love them um, so that's good. And I would love to see a gamer charm. So a charm that would look like a game controller or some kind of nod to people who play video games. Um, what? So number six question is, what is an idea for a Pandora that would make your shopping experience even better? And I think that Catherine actually touched on this in her video a little bit as well. And I would like to see some kind of Pandora rewards program. Um, I've been a Pandora lover from 2013 to today. So that's a significant number of years. I think it would be really cool if they had like a rewards club where you bought so much from Pandora, you got, you know, an extra special percentage off or a gift charm or a gift bracelet, or you got something on your birthday that was special, or they could even do something along the lines of like, you've been a Pandora collector for 10 years you know, and they can prove it through the purchasing history you have. And you could get a charm that was like a special charm for 10 years of collecting Pandora. Or you could get a special charm for five years of collecting Pandora. Or you or you could purchase that special charm for a reduced price. You know, like you pay 30 bucks and you get this really kick butt charm for being a, a long time member. I think those things would be really cool um, and would make that experience better because I would feel, you know, less like, I don't know, like they're the I would love that. I think it would just be a great way to thank customers for being so loyal to Pandora, especially, you know, those of us that collect and do these videos. We have significant collections and it would be really nice to have more of a benefit from ordering directly from Pandora than ordering off of eBay, Etsy, Poshmark, other places. It might make me more willing to look at the new collection rather than Currently, what I'm doing is looking at some of the older pieces and trying to find those. Um, so that's something Pandora could do to make my shopping experience better because buying from secondhand is very stressful. I find it very stressful because you're just massively concerned of whether or not it's real. What is something that Pandora doesn't offer but you wish they would is question number seven. Um, I, I, I think with Pandora, I would love to see... Um, like Catherine Alice nailed it with hers, more jewelry storage for larger collections. Um, I think yeah, I've seen some of the older stuff that's out there. And, you know, frankly, peop when you're buying from people off of, you know, used, um, you've got their smell, their, you know, with the jewelry box, it's so much more important that you can see it in person. Um, and, and so I would love to have it be a jewelry box that's brand new from Pandora that I could ask for for like Christmas or a birthday or something that would really, you know, enhance my collection. Because my current storage, I picked up um, secondhand, but I was able to like visually smell it and see it and understand it. Um, 
and it has a ton of storage space, but I am running out of it. And so I need something that's going to be versatile that I can, can grow with my collection. And I've seen so many Pandora people on their channels, my, the, the Pandora people out there, with 14 different ways they're storing their bracelets <laughs> because we don't have any one big container. You know, I would love for Pandora to come out with the mega container and not in limited edition, only five people can get it. Like a good number of them so that everybody who has a giant collection can participate in this. <laughs> anyway, I'm being picky now. Okay, number eight, what would you bring back if you could? Um, Two-tone charms, um, two-tone bracelets. I'd, I'd have them make more. I know we've got two out there. I have the both. Um, I think it would be good to have more two-tone charms. Not not going away, but increasing. Um, I don't know if it's the gold is too expensive. I don't know why, but that would be what I would bring back. Um, and I would also bring back more of these dainty dangles. I really am enjoying these dainty dangles. Um, they're so cute. Oh, gosh, my focus is being a stinker. But it's just so cute how that dangles so daintily. And um, I love the anchor as well. It's just such a cute small dangle. Um, I think that that would be cool to have again as well. If a friend asked you what they should stay away from, what would it be? Oh, that's easy. <laughs> the locket clasps. I'm assuming that if you're asking, I get a lot of questions on Pandora. And I'm assuming that if you're asking, you're pretty new to Pandora. Um, and uh, these locket clasps are just so difficult to put on the top of the head moves so it's really hard to get the the hook through them you got to have you still got to have clips so even though they're smooth bracelets you still got to have clips because if this comes off you don't you really don't want all your charms to fall off either way um so you want them to stay on um and they're really in, incredibly hard i think for a new a new pandora person to put on new someone new to pandora to put on because you got to Press the lock, press the little claspy thing, push it in, make sure it's secure. You know, there's a lot of steps. Whereas, you know, with with a traditional, let's get in with a traditional bracelet, it's really not as complicated because you just got to open it up, um, and put it in, and then close it. Whereas this is just so many more facets to it and you got to keep these on while you're doing it so i would say stay away from the locket class if you just want to wear the locket style bracelet on its own without any charms on it you probably would be okay to figure that out but it's still still challenging uh, okay i beat the dead horse let's move on <laughs> um if a if a friend was asking you what to get first what would you pick I by far would say one of the standard easier to open and shut bracelets. These are all good options if my focus would focus. You know, like one with this disc clasp, one with the um, traditional style clasp, or one with the round clasp. Any one with the round clasps, these are really particularly easy. I'd probably avoid a heart clasp. They're really cute, but they are a little bit more difficult and they take a little bit more challenge. When you're getting used to a bracelet in the beginning, um, you want to pick something you know, that's a more standard bracelet. And then for charm, I would pick something really sentimental. Like this one is really sentimental to me. So I think having like a first charm be really, really sentimental. Um, my first charm was the Eiffel Tower charm that I got in Paris. And it's really sentimental to me. I like really full bracelets most of the time. And so I, when I'm looking at one little sad charm on a bracelet, it's kind of like depressing to me. So if it's something I'm really sentimental and attached to, I'm more prone to wear it more often. Um, but I would also say that wearing your incomplete bracelet is a motivator. So it's the tip I can give you is wear your incomplete bracelets because it motivates you to stay focused on what the next charm you want to get for it is or what charms you'd like to get for it. One, it helps you figure out what's comfortable, um, what the next charm could be, what you would like that to, to look like for you. Um, and then it kind of is that motivator. I find wearing incomplete bracelets helps me focus on getting them completed. So that is the 10 questions on um Catherine Alice's tag and I appreciate her for doing this video. She's a very um, well-spoken young woman there and um, I think you should check her out. So um, thank you Catherine and I hope you watch this. Have a great day everybody and thanks for all my followers. I love you guys. If you haven't liked or subscribed please do so. I really appreciate it. 
really helps my channel out. I'm trying to grow, trying to hit 500. I'm getting there. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye.